Gotta go. You gotta see things. See new faces and brand new things. Gotta go places and do things. Maybe to forget it. I'm using the entire CoverGirl 2018 spring line to do so. In fact, everything on my face is CoverGirl today except for one product. We're not going to talk about it. They sent me their entire line, which I literally peed all of my pants over. It actually came at a really good time. Like, I needed something good, like good news, like something nice, something pretty, and they sent it over. I have a lip swatching video coming out, swatching every single liquid lipstick they sent. It was a huge box, and I also have already used a lot of these products in some first impressions videos and stuff like that but I wanted to film a full face using these CoverGirl products for you guys today. I do hope you enjoy it and thank you so much to CoverGirl for sending this over. There's gonna be like a dramatic change from this to like no brow like naked mole rat looking dress so I'm just warning you I don't know. Starting off with no brows. I'm starting off with this ultra fine brow pencil look how fine that is I absolutely love that I'm gonna use this to literally draw on my brows I have shaved them I have I'm tired of them I'm not messing with them anymore so I has no brows and then I need to brows I'm really trying to get them to match. They never ever do. Alright, that'll do me. Next, I'm going to use their brow pomades. I love this packaging. You open it up and there is the brow pomade. And then here is the cap, which is actually the brush. Just pop this out. Pop her back in. I think the brush is like the most important part of your brows, honestly. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this. It's nice and creamy. And I'm literally just filling this in. I'm not really worried about brush strokes or anything like that. This is just kind of like my rough draft brow. And then I will really go in later on after the foundation and color it out exactly how I want it. Make it look more realistic. But for just right now, I just need to get some brows on my face. Because if I do my foundation first, then my rough draft brows get a little crazy and they have to be more permanent the first time. So I just get some brow on. I feel like they kind of match. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use their CoverGirl Healthy Vitalist Concealer Pen. I love these little pens. You just spin this up and it comes out of the top. I love these for cleaning up my brows and then also if you're doing like a spotlight eye or you need to carve out your eyeshadow, this will work perfectly. I'm taking a little angled brush to not only define those brows but to cover the little stubs that I, I'm too much of a wuss to pluck. And then I kind of work it down to the lid. For the lid, I'm going to use this primer. This stuff is awesome. It's very sticky. I would even use this for glitter. It is some potent stuff. I'm just going to kind of dab it along my lid. And then just use my the trusty tools God gave me. And I'm going to just blend that all together and down. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's like a little tacky. I'm going to take my shade in the Healthy Vitalist, in the Vitalist Healthy Powder, which is 710. I'm just going to use a little bit of this to set my eyes. Now, if I wanted a lot of pigment, I would not set this, and it will definitely 
pick up all that pigment and make it very vibrant, but I'm all about the blending today, so I'm setting it. Alright, so here I have the Hot Cat Kitty Cat Palette. Love these colors. I dug my finger through one of the most beautiful shimmers, but I'm going to stay in this range today. I'm going to use this one first. This is just a super warm brown. I love this color. I'm taking this bronzer brown color. As you can see, it is super pigmented. I'm going to start working all of my eyeshadows into the same kind of winged eyeliner shape. So kind of from here. But this color, I want to go all over my lid and kind of provide some definition. Next, I'm going in with this darker brown. Alright, now I'm going to start taking this black and building the eyeliner that I want. I'm just going to go in with my eyeliner because I just made a mess and I just wanted to find it. This is their liquid eyeliner in 320. This is the matte black one. So I start out by drawing out the wing first. And then I just go backwards to the middle of my eye. And then I'm just going to connect the middle to the beginning and then I'm just going to fill it in. Alright, so there is the eyeliner that I'm working with. I'm just going to take my black eyeshadow and start kind of smoking that out. It's my favorite thing to do with my messy wings. If something happens and it doesn't go as precise as I planned, just smoke it out. Lastly, just going to go over with that bronzer brown again and just make sure everything is blended. And there we go, we got the perfect little faded, warm, bronzy. I'm gonna add some lashes and then I'll be back. All right, so I finished my eyes, now I'm gonna do my face. I'm starting off with this Vitalist Go Glow Luminizing Lotion in the shade 2, Sunkissed. It's probably way too much. It looks nice and glowy. Figured I could add a little bit of color to my face, you know, since I'm super pale.
just adds the slightest little bit of like bronziness. I think that if you were just going to like lay out in the sun or something and you weren't going to wear makeup, I think this would look really cute. For foundation, I'm using the Healthy Elixir. This is in Classic Ivory. I don't know why I'm saying it like I'm on a game show, um, but this is actually a little bit too dark for me. So I'm going to be mixing it with a, a different foundation that I'm not going to say because oh, Taylor makes fun of me. And I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. Both of these are super full coverage. I know this foundation isn't in their like spring line. I don't know if they have a foundation for that, but it's the only CoverGirl foundation that I have, and I happen to like it a lot. Am I too far? I don't know. I can't tell. There we go. Hello. You don't need to see my forehead anyway. This is like the perfect color, these two together. I think that is like the perfect color. Perfect amount of coverage. I don't see my skin. I don't want to. <laughs> Alright, next I'm going to use the Vitalist Healthy Concealer in the darkest shade. And this is the same pen that I used on my eyes. But I'm going to use it to cream contour. I believe you guys have already seen me use this in a different video. But I really do like using this concealer to cream contour. It's nice and creamy and provides a little bit of coverage more than the uh, typical cream contouring products do. It's perfect for the nose contour because you can get super precise. Blends so easy too. Look at that. A couple little swipes. And she's gone. gonna take my little sponge with my foundation on it and just blend out all of that. I think if you're gonna do like a natural makeup look that concealer is perfect for you because it doesn't provide like a harsh contour it's just a slight contour which I should probably do those more often. Sometimes my contour be looking very dry. Alright I'm going to use a different concealer under my eyes just because I'm so so picky when it comes to these creasy, baggy things. Alright, so these are like the coolest thing out of this entire line. These are their um, cream highlighters. This is in the shade 2. This is my favorite shade. This is like super creamy in this little pot. I don't know if you guys know how obsessed with things in pots I am, but this is the most gorgeous color. And I'm just going to kind of dot this on all the areas where I want it, which I want it everywhere. And then I'm gonna take the other side of my sponge and just kind of blend it out. I've been not really loving being super high lady lately. I'm not really sure what's up. Sometimes I go through like more matte moods, but I do love how just a touch this is. I'm going to set my under eyes with a translucent powder and all the areas where I have used my cream concealer. Now I feel like I'm too close. I don't know what's happening with my angles today. I'm really sorry. Is that better? I need some definition. I see myself in the viewfinder. It's very glowworm, very glowworm-esque. 
I'm going to use this Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Powder Foundation in 305. This is from CoverGirl. It's not from this line, but I'm going to use it. I love it. If I could never bry, bry. If I could never bry another bronzer um, and just use all powder foundations to contour and bronze, I would do it because they just blend so much easier. This brush, however, not the one. I think my favorite thing to bronze and contour is my nose. Well, maybe besides my cheeks, because if I didn't contour my cheeks up, I would be... I don't think my work is ready for all this glam. I worked the overnight shift last night. It is 1.35 right now. They are not expecting me to come in. <laughs> and they are probably expecting me to roll in looking deathly. I'm going to take the Vitalist Healthy Powder again. And I'm just going to take this on a giant brush. And I'm going to get my wig hairs out of the way. And I'm just going to take this along all of the edges of that bronzer. Just to really set and blend everything out. I probably should have done this before the bronzer, but I'm doing it now. And everything will make sense now. Alright, so now I'm going in with 705. This is the black brow pomade. This is where I'm going to really add the color and get some brow hairs faked up in here. You're just going in little strokes. I'm just kind of working that darker color in with the lighter color. And I think this makes it look a little bit more realistic. Are they realistic? No, but did I shave my eyebrows? Yes. <laughs> All right, to finish off with my eyes, it's gonna be super simple. I'm taking that same brush that I used the black eyeshadow on, and I'm just kind of smoking out my little bottom lash line. And then I'm going to take the Peacock Flare in the waterproof version because I got allergies out here. This is what the bristle looks like. It's really cool. I'm going to kind of focus the middle part where it's a little bit wider on my bottom lashes. Alright, there she blows for the eye look. I love it. I think it complements my eye shape. It makes them look longer and bigger and I need that for this face. Alright, so for lips, I have two favorites. I think I'm going to use this one though because it's more um, warm brown like my eyeshadow. This is the Queen Major Shade in Cakewalk. I still am editing a huge lip swatching video on these guys so be prepared I it is coming I just don't want it to be like labor intensive to watch because there are so many different shades in there all right so last I'm gonna use their lock it up setting powder that's what it looks like I use a lot of powder, so I use a lot of setting spray. I think they just together dry and it becomes like a shield. I'm gonna fix my hair while I'm waiting for my face to dry. 
All right, so here is the finished look. I love it. I've been doing so many colorful looks lately, so I just wanted to do something grounded at home and a little, little rocky maybe. I don't know with the eyeliner. We'll see. Anyways, bye. Okay, see ya.